the next item to go to is our data validation list. Same setup over here again. I'm going to copy these three items like what I did and paste it over here. And I'm going to create a data validation list with these items being populated to the data validation list. Click on this cell. This is my target cell. I'm going to color it so that I know where it is. Go to data. Look for this icon over here. Clicking on this, I get this window pane. I have to drop down this list and look for list. This is the one that I'm looking for. Click on the source box and select from January to December 2020. Once done, click OK. Compared to the combo box, this data validation list allows me to select horizontally. Whereas my combo box, I could not select horizontally, but I could select the items vertically. I'm going to go very near here and click on the box and test check. It looks fine. I want to change the cell formatting. Uh, these are the number of days from 1st of January 1900. So these are the date values. I'm going to click on this, right click, go to format cells and look for custom. And look for this. Now, my intention is to drop down items and call up the same numbers for sales, COGS and gross profit from the respective worksheets. In this case, I will need to know where and what cells are these. Each of the worksheets, the number of cells are set up in such a way that they have the same location. Cell C6, C7 and C8. So what I'm going to do is plug in the location of the cells here and drop it down. It's because I'm going to use the location of the cells. And after that, I'm going to have to obtain a sample from any of the worksheets so that I can plug in my formula using the indirect function. I'm going to go randomly on this to this cell and create the link by just pressing equal sign and clicking on C6 enter using formula tags. I'm going to point to this cell clicking enter so that I can see the syntax of the formula. I have to use a syntax of formula and plug in this syntax into the brackets within indirect function. My first cell, which is the sales number, this is where I'm going to plug in the indirect function equal sign in direct what I need to do is to plug in the entire syntax into the year and close it with a bracket later so open double apostrophe single apostrophe close it with a double apostrophe again use a percent and point it to here and percent again open up your double apostrophe put in a single apostrophe and the exclamation mark so I'm actually here now, this portion here. Close it with double apostrophe again. Use an ampersand and point it to C15. C15 is where my C6 is. Okay, and press enter. I'm going to change the format of this cell because it wasn't correct. What am I going to change? This 2020 is wrong. Look at that. I'm just going to go here and customize my own. Click enter. Now you notice that it still doesn't work. That's because this C14 over here is in date format. And under the date format, right, we have the number of days. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to put in a tax command and change it into tax. Not only change it into tax alone, but change it into a specific tax format that will match my criteria. So there it is, it works. Insert the comma style inside and check what cells to lock before copying down. C14 is the obvious one. Enter and double click on the H. There it is. You can delete all this stuff because you don't need them. Change the number formatting here to match the above. It is red in brackets. And there it is. That's it guys.